Hello everyone, it's me Jebby from Unique Tutorials. Today, in this video, I will show you how to blur and lock the desktop screen in any Windows computer. So, without further more delay, let's begin. So, from the topic, you have known that I mean to lock the desktop screen only. As you can see, this one is the desktop screen. So, I want, I just want to make this blur and I want to lock this desktop screen. So, you might be thinking, we can just lock the computer just by pressing win plus l so that's a different thing so you will move to the lock screen so i'm not going to move to the lock screen so i'll just want to lock this desktop screen so for this just open any web browser and in the google search just search for one application name as screen blur and on the first list you will see its website just click on it now you can see here download screen blur just click on here so wait for a few seconds until the complete downloading is done. So the file has been downloaded. So let me go to the folder where it is being downloaded and let me close this web browser. So it's a zip file. So just double up click it to extract this file. So now you can see a folder. Just open it. Now you will see a tons of files here. And below here you will see one application name with the screen blue. Just double up click it. Now you will be shown or given some instructions. Just follow it. Just click on OK. Click on OK. Now for the first time if you're using it then it will ask you to set a password. So let me give a simple password. So I have set a password and once you have type our password plus click on set and below you can see password is set now you can click on ok also if you wish you can click on ok so before clicking on ok let us go to the other options like automations so here are some options if you want to make it run all the time you turn on your computer then just enable this start with windows and you can set it with the timer also lock when computer is idle by one minute you can automatically lock using this option also you can enable this player sound lock on resume a tons of more options you can see when mute sound don't close or hide turn off the monitor so there are tons of options so you can choose depending upon your needs and on the next option is the hot case so you can see here some shortcut case if you wish you can enable it so i'm just keeping as, as it is so i'm not going to change anything here and next option is miscellaneous so you can see some miscellaneous options like put computer to sleep if locked for 10 minutes so there are some options so by default these options are not enabled so if you don't like then you can just keep it as it is and if you want these options to enable then just enable this by clicking on it and the next option is the advanced so here you can see some advanced options so you can turn it off if you don't like those which are being automatically turned on by these applications I will just keep it as it is for now and the last option is about the interference right so here you can change the location to where you want to make a blur center and stretch zoom what type of effects you want to give you can give up pictures also by going to the pictures you can select some comments or your custom icons depending upon your needs so I'll just keep it as none for now and you can see here some different colors right so let us preview it firstly to check how it looks so let me click on preview so you can see the blurring effect will be seen this much of amount right so you can see on the left of corner is the lock button so right now you can just click on the lock icon to unlock this desktop screen but when you use it practically you need to type your password so let me show you just by using this preview so let me type a password so you can see here it automatically gets unlocked once you type your correct password which you have set using this application so you can change the color and when the blur and transparency effect you can see here right now it's in 80 percent so you can see a little bit what's on the background of so if you want to completely hide it then you can just increase it so
so let us try in the 98 so you can see right now anything right so you can make it completely 100% also if you wish let us check so let me keep it a little transparent for the time being to show you an example so there are some more options like time levels shutdown there are some tons of options if you wish you can keep you can see here on the tray icon so in the below you can see here a tray icon is being shown here on the tray menu icon right so once you click on ok now whenever you want to lock or blur your screen then you can just click on this blue color lock icon just click on it now it will get locked now if you click on this lock icon now you can see here auto lock after this much but there is no unlock option so what you need to do to unlock this desktop screen you need to type the password which you have set using this application so let me type my password so you can see it gets auto unlock so uh, definitely a very cool applications to blur and lock the desktop screen in any windows computer so if you never known about this cool software then definitely you should give it a try so if you find this video tutorial useful please click on the thumbs like button and if you're new to our channel click on the subscribe button and lastly thanks for watching